Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us here at the Copac Stadium here on the outskirts of Manchester, the home of the Sale Sharks as the University of Worcester Warriors come to visit. So let's get into those two teams now. Selections by Rachel Taylor for this Sale side. The Sharks head coach makes seven personnel changes, three positional switches as well, but rotation is common in these parts. Well, it's more settled for Jo Yap and her Worcester side. In fact, selection would have been one of the easiest processes of being the director of rugby of late, as you can well imagine with what's been going on at the club. A whole new front row, though, tested today. Steph Evans and Flo Long are the props with Karis Phillips, Welsh international sandwiched in between. A continuity here from Sale. There's Howden at first receiver. Just flicks one off to her right. And then back inside. It's the one-two. And it's a dream start for Sale Sharks. Great build-up from a couple of penalties. And they got over that gain line. And in the end, it's an easy run in for Howard. And the way they've come out in this hoping 10 or 15 minutes so uh, will please the management Washington clearing out grieving and Duffy good start from her Paris ready oh they threw again so easy for sale Got another chance here though, Worcester. That's better. Ball's tight to seal body position. I suspect they'd want to be a little bit lower, but they go around the left hand side and they have got it down. And we just said they needed to respond and they have. Evans, the front row, working in tandem. Yamamoto. Thompson. Thought thought she had her. And then there's the power and the strength from Lydia Thompson that is what Lydia Thompson is all about brilliant to see her back and scoring tries which she loves to do Phillips needs to get the arrows right here it's often a line out beacon for Worcester really well organised more there Excellent structure to it. And there they go again. And it's Karis Phillips again. A double for the hooker. And Worcester Warriors take the lead for the first time. What a game. Yeah, that's a shame for Flo Long. She's been really, really impactful in, for, in this first half. And I think she's just got the wrath of, yeah, it was one of you lot. <laughs> team, team penalties get off the field. Made the job harder for Worcester now. Another advantage. They won't need the advantage because they've squeezed over. Somehow, somebody has got the ball over the line in that melee of bodies. Still quite upright, Sale. Decided to take it quickly, and again they've squeezed over in the melee of bodies. Sale of the first score of this second half. Due to the, the way that way, how hard they work. Here, here. Brilliant angle. Owen oh, looking around now, just needed someone just a touch closer. Thorpe is there, just picks it up. Howard, quick hands, delayed it. Little switch ball. Back inside. Green. She's had a brilliant game and tops it off with another score for the home team. What a try by Green as the bangs go around the stadium. Well, uh, that was phenomenal play. Just the interplay, the way that they were changing their angles, their running lines. Karis Phillips looking for a hat trick here. You wouldn't bet against it. 100% wouldn't. Look at that leg drive again. The shape on that is fantastic. Still trundling forward. Phillips breaks off to the right-hand side. 
She's over. She's got the hat trick. There's a real air of patience about Worcester now, and I guarantee that's just from that real emphasis on leadership and making sure they're doing the right things in the right places. And that patience has paid off because they've got into the corner. They peppered that short side, didn't they, Worcester? And it's Lydia Thompson with the latest five-pointer for the Warriors. Washington breaks off the base of the scrum, trying to get those levers going, and she has, and that's the game. They've been so tenacious, epitomised by the lady who's just scored the winning try, you feel. Conway is there. Phillips. Leaves it for Gonwick. She's over the line, but can't get that, that ball down. Oh, she can! Keira Gondwick has got the five-pointer, and Worcester Warriors are racing back to the halfway line. They want to take this conversion quickly. Is there time left in this game? It's the near fortress, and you know, they've ground out this win today, crucially. And Sarah Law kicks that ball off the field. Referee blows the final whistle. Look at the seats. That's what it means to the sale players. They knew this was going to be a tight one. 